Makes my heart race. Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. It's your favorite captain, Captain Natalie, for season three, episode four of Sailing the Far Side. Today, we are going to be sailing off the coast of Cuba. So, last week we ended with a night sail after passing the beautiful yet far away Dry Tortugas Fort Jefferson. This week we're finishing up that night sail and catching a glimpse of what we think is Cuba. Papa may think so, but I'm not too sure. Anyways guys, hope you enjoy this episode and keep watching. <laughs> Sitting here, enjoying my cup of joe. It's a big old cruise ship off our starboard stern. Coffee hasn't hit yet. I'm taking my brain a second. But it's about five. Just waiting for the sun to come up. Should be seeing some light here in about an hour. And then hopefully the coast of Cuba. We'll see though, we'll see though. Keep you in the loop. Papa says he's on the mountains. I say clouds, but Papa says the mountains. Mountains. The mountains of Cuba. Mountains or clouds? Mountains? Alright, if you say so. What a beautiful morning! <laughs> You're supposed to say what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. <laughs> I got a feeling everything's going my way. There we go. <laughs> That's right. Everything is going on. <laughs> All right, nap time. That's a boat breakfast. <laughs> bon appetit! Wait, look at you. Wow. A lot of blueberries, so we have to eat them. Take your hot sauce. Huh? No, they're both for you. Brunch. We have to eat. There's so much food. Eat! Get the fat eat. Hey. Like I said, Mama prepared for the Armageddon, so we have to eat like we're, eat like we're out of it because we only have a couple days. Yeah. So after a beautiful sunrise and a delicious breakfast made by Moi, we got to work. We decided that it was time after sailing for some 36 hours to check the oil and check on our bilge too. We noticed that there was some water in the bilge and that the bilge pump wasn't quite working. So we opened up the floorboards and got to work. What was that? This spot was made for me. It's got a seat to sit down. Mm -hmm. The bilge pump's working. It's still hot in here. Yeah, it's hot. Really hot. Holy cow. Clean water though. Is it clogged? Might be. Hey, turn off the uh, bilge pump. 
so just making sure everything is good and checking out the this, alternator. This is for fencing with the engine. <laughs> You're gonna be fencing. Stop. Okay, go now. Budge it, budge it, budge it, budge it, budge it. A hot fence. Hot fence. Right? The thing is pretty hot. Uh oh. That's low. That's low. Part of it, but she'll she'll still have some more. Didn't leak it. No oil stains anywhere. That's the one out of one. Okay. And there's also a funnel there. Yep. So stand on it. I'll get my feet on it. Stand on the moment. Does something sound good? Right there. That's what I think what we get. Reach it? Oh, yep. What'd you say? Being mean. Hey, don't be mean. That's not nice. Nice to be mean. Not nice. Yeah, it's burning wood for all those deer. Well, we you girls, did you add a lot from your trip? Yeah. Uh, sometimes, but like not terrible, not that much. No. Well, we just ran like 36 hours. Yeah, we just, that's the longest trip we've had in a while. Because yeah. even when we, were, when we were crossing the Gulf Stream, it wasn't bad. Uh, you want to check the transmission? That's not bad. That's not bad. Funny. So, give me a cup of water for the sake of Pour water in here. Oh. It's still, it's still some oil left inside. I think that's mine. Right. Yeah, I can get water. Right here, turn the other side, other side. No, no, it's on, but it's not. I don't hear it running. 
Hmm. Viva Cuba! Land ho! I don't know if you can see that, but I can pretty much see the beach from here. The beach. I can see the beach. Cuba! <laughs> Sailing. We're still hitting like uh, six, five and a half, six knots. Cuba. Last few times I've been to Cuba was when I was little. Two times, right? Yeah. Riding around on little scooters and matching outfits. Tatiana wasn't even born. Yeah. The second time. She wasn't born. Yeah, I was gonna say. Every time she was not there. Well, let's see what's going on. I only went twice. Sasha turned five. Yeah, that was the second yeah, time we went. Yeah. Sasha turned five. My parents uh, hired a clown, and he turned a rabbit into a dove. I remember, and there was we invited all the other kids that were around us. Everyone spoke different languages, but somehow we all understood each other. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, birthday in Cuba, on the far side. I do remember that somehow. Sasha and I were wearing matching dresses, scootering around on our, on our little razor scooters. Yeah, that was fun. And here we are, back again. And once we round that corner over there... Well, I wouldn't say round it. Once we pass it, we're gonna head more towards Mexico. And we got about a hundred and about a hundred and five miles left. We're staying outside of a shipping channel, but also offshore, like between the two. Cuba. This is a ship, active shipping channel, so we're staying inside that. So we're not too offshore. And we're checking a filter to see if that is our bilge pump issue. I know we took this boat out for eight months, but I'm still learning lots of things about it. Nope. Wow. It's pretty. Something new. Let me get some pale salt water. Hail salt water and So after checking the transmission oil and the oil and adding some more, we decided to check our bilge pump filter to see if that was the problem. And on my way to clean it outside, we got the most wonderful surprise. Or I did. You can tell from my smile, it's a good one. <laughs> they're so cute. Papa, there's so many. Holy cow! Hi, Dobbins! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Hello, everybody! Hi! Wow! Hello, everybody! Oh my gosh!
ta-ta for now. You guys have been great. I gotta get back to work. Please leave some fish for me, okay? I need to eat dinner too. Now that was what I've been wanting this whole trip! Yes! I could cry! That was so cool! Ah. Papa! That was so cool! You should have came and seen it! There was like a hundred of them over there! They were jumping out of the water and everything! They were little spinner dolphins. Oh, wow. Look. Okay, anyways, Papa missed out. I was yelling at him to come up there. I don't know if he can tell by all my woohoos. That is what I've been wanting for two days. Yes. After one of the most incredible experiences, one that I was hoping to have um, during our sail across the Gulf Stream, we got back to work again. We had to check our alternator. For some reason, our alternator was not quite working. Now, Papa had just installed a new one, so we weren't quite sure as to why that was happening. Our solar panels were giving us energy throughout the day, but throughout the night, we were not able to charge anything because our voltage was dropping. So this was kind of something we wanted to check out and see if we could fix while underway. Old alternator is powered. It's never been used, but it's an old one. Just been sitting there hmm. waiting for a chance to shine. So, when did you get the new alternator? About uh, last week. Yeah. So, the question is, we want to mess with it now or wait till we get in? Take that one off and have some Mexicans. I feel like maybe we should. I feel like maybe we should mess with it when we get. This is funny. I mean, we'll, we'll just do what we did last night. Just turn everything yeah, off. We got enough juice to. Uh, we'll stop charging things yeah. when it gets. This all going to fit, but it's it's going to be a rewiring job too. Yeah. So. Well, this is. Yeah, we're good for now. I think we'll keep those panels plugged in, make sure it gets as much power as possible, and then keep things off. Yeah? Right. All right. Plan. Break. So while off the coast of Cuba, we were close enough to shore to get a little bit of cell service. So we decided to check in with the fam AKA mama and let her know how everything was going. And after that, we had yet another surprise. I mean, good things keep happening. This day is filled with excitement and just smiles all around. Hey, look at that. Mine's Alex. Mama, say hi. Oh, hello, GoPro. Hello, GoPro. This is this is uh, uh, Mrs. Myers uh, calling from Marco Island, Florida. I hope you have a good sail. She's gonna bring us a fishing ball. Woohoo! So yeah, I think the last time, remember, I I, right. I texted you. I went outside and we got a mahi. Oh, it is a messenger. We got a mister. First fish on the boat. Let's go. Woohoo! Oh man. Beauty. Look at that. Here. Hold this. The other board. Hold it. They travel in pairs. Right here. Good chow for us. Where do you get to save yourself, huh? 
It's like, man, Please, I, bet case. The, I bet the wrong bait today. Plead your case. Guilty or innocent? <laughs> He's guilty. Guilty. Guilty of being a delicious fish. Guilty as charged. Your punishment is needed execution and dinner. Nobody listen to this guy. Nobody listen to this guy. Follow. Now we're at the Caribbean. Yeah, I saw the bungee. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. This That's ain't a right. Fish. That's up. All right. So, three things I said to Papa this morning. I said, during my nap. Wake me up if there's land, if we catch a fish, or if there's dolphins. I should start saying that more because we saw land, we saw dolphins, and we got a fish! Man, I, I'm telling you, I think I'm your good luck charm. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. After bringing in the fish, Papa decided that he wanted to kind of fiddle with the bilge a little bit more. We were thinking it needed some priming, so while he was doing that, I made a fish into fillets. <laughs> After we got the fish in the freezer, we decided it was time to put a reef in the main. A reef is where you bring part of the sail down so not as much wind powers the sail. This is because if there's too much of the main up, we heel over more and it just makes for a much more uncomfortable ride. So we put on our first reef, which still kept about two thirds of the main up and we still had our storm sail up so we still had just as much power, but we were Dang. flying. So we're kind of ahead of a schedule. We want to try and get to Isla Mujeres at sunrise. And if we just power through right now, that will we'll get there way too early. So we're going to put a reef in the main, keep the stay sail up, keep the head sail in, turn the motor on, and just kind of cruise along. Um, trying to get there in about 13, 14 hours. So we'll uh, bet you never had anyone tell you you need to slow down, huh, on a sailboat. <laughs> slow down on a sailboat, get it, because we're slow. Anyways, um, all right, here we go. Put in a reef in the main. Ready, Freddy.
trying to make a sandwich. Trying to make a sandwich in these conditions is so much fun. All right, Papa, ready for your sandwich? When you sit down, I'll give it to you. This might be dinner. Okay, good. Sit down. Natalie's sandwich extraordinaire. I have those uh, skills. Sandwiches are like one of my favorite things to eat, so I make a good one. Yeah. Enjoy. Make a video. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Woohoo! All right, take a bite. <laughs> Stay on the couch. <laughs> Good? Good enough? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not rough outside. It's just these rollers. Well, yeah, that and the be behind us. Following seas are our friend. It's hot in here. Can't open any of the hatches because Hey. All right. Woo. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Everything's good. Everything's good. It's literally me. <laughs> All right. My sandwich time. Mm. Mm -mm. Perfect. Perfection. As the sun was setting, Papa went to sleep and I decided to try and work on a little project for myself. Uh, now this project is very cool. It is actually restringing a spear gun that I won in a spear fishing competition. You'll hear a little bit about it in the next clips. So, I wanted a little project because, well, I brought it with me, so I might as well work on it. Um, so my gun needed to be restrung. I've already kind of started. I needed a new shock cord. With mine, you can see, totally dry rotted through. So anyways, got a new little shock cord and some crimpers. Here. and got a new string should work just the same so that is what I'm working on we got about 20 miles before we start heading across so we're 85 miles to Islam Harris Still trying to slow down a little bit, but 20 miles till we start heading towards there and across the Gulf Stream. So we have to cross it again right there, that Gulf Stream area right there. And then we'll see Mama. It's still a beautiful night. No more fish, but we got the mahi. So we're going to be saving that for when we see Mama, just in case we don't catch any more. No. and she's bringing a fishing pole. All right, we're gonna finish this project, show you guys the final product. Oh yeah, now we got a chiller. Oh baby. Progressive spear guns, for anybody who is wondering what kind of gun this is, designed it with a gun stock to make it easier for hip loading. Hip loading there. I won that and that's what she shot last year. Um, this year, there's gonna be another one this year, so we'll see how we do in that one. It was a lot of fun. You had to shoot a hogfish, a grouper, 
a snapper and a lionfish to qualify for top spot. And I won the free diving division for women. And uh, this was one of the prize options. So how could I not choose this beautiful, beautiful gun? Can't wait to be anchored. <laughs> Just kidding, no. It's been a long few days, but this is what it takes, you know. It's been a great few days. Learned a lot, had a lot of fun, and uh, can't wait to keep going. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week where we sail off of the coast of Mexico. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, comment, let me know how I'm doing. We really enjoy sharing our story with you guys. My dad and I were having the best time, and it's hard to believe that all of that happened in one day. Thanks again to our patrons. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. Stay tuned for next week. It's your favorite captain, Captain Natalie from Sailing the Far Side.